run along Robinson that, 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 that will take you from the base of that bridge to down to the, uh, that, I don't know what that park's called, but the one north of Wally Post Park. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Ha has there been any uh, thought given to, um, uh, in this, in the, when we're, we're in this process of realigning all the, the uh, MAPS projects, as to how we tie uh, the bridge uh, and, and, some, and something south of the bridge into some kind of a something so it just won't be there by itself when we get finished. If we move the if we move this park to the back, which I suspect we're going at least going to move it back some. Um, I, 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 along with that, I would appreciate there being some kind of a plan or some some statement as to what we intend to do with how we're going to tie the bridge to the to something. Uh, and, and, and I suspect that needs to be done on both sides of the bridge, yeah. not just on one side of it. Um, uh, and it, it seems to me, and you and I had a discussion about this earlier, that uh, maybe in, in the process of moving the park to the back, we could um, uh, um, connect the bridge either through a bicycle or a walking path all the way to the river, to the river trail and turn it around and make a turnaround or something there so so it has some meaning now as opposed to, I don't want it to be just out there with that. No, that's very much the consideration that the MAPS uh, three subcommittees have, have looked at in, in adoption of the schedule. What they talked about, you know, with the, the, the proposed option one that's out there, whether that's adopted or not, has to do with finishing some of the park along the new boulevard and then bringing a, a trail that ties from the boulevard down to the north end of this pedestrian bridge. And then the south end of the pedestrian bridge, there's, a, there's a, 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 an area there that's already been, been acquired by ODOT and then we acquired some property, but, and, and that'll tie into to the sidewalks that run down Robinson that are, that, are, that are new and in good shape that'll tie you right to the river across 15th Street, right in, in, into, into that park on the north side of the, of, of the river, and then of course it will be enhanced. That will be enhanced when, when the, the, the southern park is, is constructed. So you will have positive access all the way from the boulevard to the north park over the pedestrian bridge on the sidewalks along Robinson Street down to the river upon completion. The river uh, the, is the bridge going to be bicycle uh, accessible? Is it walking, or just can you could you ride a bike across it? You can ride a bike across it. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to be part of the, if we move the park back, that's going to be part of the plan. Yeah, that's actually, going to be spelled out in the park plan that yes. we're going to do that. It, actually, it's in either uh, schedule, option one or option two, that, that, that's there. There will be positive connection from the boulevard to the river. Okay. I'm a little concerned, though, that as we move along with moving these projects back, we're going to get into this blue, this, this watercolor idea of what we're going to do, and, the, and and then we're going to this debate about what we do, when, and how we do it is just going to keep on. Uh, and I recognize that it's a fluid project; that as time goes forward, we'll want to change things. But I'd like to see some sense of certainty with regard to it, as opposed to treating it as just it's a totally blank slate all the time, other than moving the convention center forward. I'd like to see it with some specificity with regard to what we want to do. And this is a perfect project to, to start with that, is to do that. But Pete and Gary, or uh, Gary and Larry, I think, can help me on that. I think those were, those were the type of, of, of things that were talked about in the MAPS three committees to make sure that we had those type of, of, of connections made regardless. And I, I don't want to speak for either one of them. Dr. McAtee. Yeah, uh, and of course, the, the uh, starting comments that were made here, this, this bridge, if you look at it, was required uh, in the relocation of I-40 as a pedestrian bridge. So, and, and the, correct me if I'm wrong, Dennis, but the building of the bridge right now uh, is very wise to get it done before I-40, the new I-40 opens up. That's part of the, the, the time constraints that are involved here. Well, let me last so you. It isn't only prudent, it, it, it's cost effective because if we try right. to build this bridge under construction after the traffic has moved to the new I-40, it's going to be much, much yeah. more expensive. I, I don't think right. anybody disputes that. That's not what I'm, I, I, I everybody would love well, that. What I was doing, I was, I was leading up to uh, your, your parks uh, subcommittee, okay, is well aware of the need to, to tie this bridge from a, from a multi-purpose uh, standpoint because it's both pedestrian and bicycle. Uh, accessible, 
it's ADA accessible also, to tie that loop in so that there will be a way to get to the completed, the fully completed Oklahoma River Trail, which isn't uh, completed right now and is in operation. So I think everybody will be pleased with, with the details that the subcommittee comes out with, and it will have, I believe, and Gary is now in, involved, it will have some specificity to it as far as doing that as, as we move along. That's what Mars. Well, this just reinforces the concern I uh, expressed when we were going over the timeline because none of this, none of these separate committees have been, have their discussions been in a vacuum. I mean, they've, they've all talked about the interconnection with all of the activities. And the Parks Committee has talked about that and had talked about the fact that they just don't want a bridge to nowhere and they want something to happen on that and, uh, and understanding how, it, how it's phased in and so forth. Uh, so each of these things, it, I believe that some of the conversation when we went over that um, would lead people to believe that, that we're just randomly making decisions and throwing things out irrespective of how they work throughout the whole process, and that's not true. That's when the, when the BAPS, overall MAPS Advisory Committee and the subcommittees have met uh, and talked, all of that has been interrelated. So I'm, I, as with Larry, I'm confident that the Parks Committee knows full well that, that uh, we don't need a big open lot to a bridge and then it goes to a nothing but another open lot. Uh, there'll be... Um, something in there before we get to the completion of the park uh, that citizens will be, uh, that they can have access to it and, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. So uh, all of this has not been done in a vacuum. They've all, uh, all the committees have been talking. I guess, but I want, I want it to be, I want us to talk about it. I, I, I think that um, maybe I'm just dense. Maybe I don't understand what's happening here, but I don't see, I don't, there, there may be a plan, and, I, and I, I, I give it up to both of you that have been to those meetings. You may have that information. You may know all that, that everything's going to be okay. I thought there was an understanding that the $30 million that uh, was to remove the, the um, um, power plant, the, the transformer, thing was a separate item separate and apart from the convention center but that there are there are those of us that don't believe that and i would like I, I, all i'm after is let's say it if that's what we're going to do i want to hear about i want to know it i have constituents that ask me questions and if i have to say well i'm going to rely on the committee to do it i like i need to know what the committee's i need to know what they're saying because i don't want to defend um I, I don't want to defend it without knowing what we're going to do. I'm, I'm for the projects. I, I mean, I'm for all the projects. I want all the projects built. I want them all built timely. I want them all done well. But I think we, we have an obligation to communicate what we're going to do and not make it so fluid that uh, today it can just be a total change and, I, I, or, and tomorrow. I just think we, ought to, we can be more specific. We can at least be specific and say that's what the projects are today as opposed to saying, well, I don't think they, were, they ever were that, because I have a clear understanding that the $30 million was to be used for to, to do the, that station, and that was what it was for. There are those of us, and I, I suspect, I, I believe they, in good faith, believe this differently, but because it wasn't said on the horseshoe, it wasn't put in actual, in down in writing, then you can have those dis disagreements, and I don't want to have them anymore. I, I, I'd like to know what we're going to do, I, and I recognize it's a fluid plan, but I, to me this is just a perfect illustration of we need to say exactly what we're going to do as best we can based on what we know today and do that. And if, if what we know today changes, then we can change that. But I'm just trying to get us to be, to kind of come up to the line and say this is what our plan is, and this is just the first of many. I, I, there, there are other things in the plan that I see moving fluid that I that maybe there's a good reason for moving it, but I'm yet to be convinced. And I, of course, I'm just one. So, Jim, I just want to want to be clear on that. In, in regard to the park, there were two options that were laid out. One was option one, which allowed for construction along the boulevard, just a, a piece of it, to, so that the boulevard would have an, a park edge, and then connecting the boulevard to the pedestrian bridge. 
And then a second phase would be the completion of the North Park, and then the third phase would be the completion of the South Park. That's the first option. Two, you do the whole North Park under the, the, the first phase, and then you do the, the, the South Park in, in a later phase. Either of those options provide for positive access all the way from the boulevard to the river uh, when, when this bridge is opened or shortly thereafter. Good. Any other comments? Dennis, thank you. Thank you. I want to thank J.C. Reese for helping me put that together.